Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today we have a full guide for Compound Bow. The most satisfying weapon to use. Unfortunately, not the most powerful. But satisfaction guarantee. Now, how you can get this weapon? Unfortunately, you need to obtain the plan. There is no other way unless one of your friends will craft it for you or you buy from someone. That's, that's the good alternative because requirements to get a plan are quite crazy. As first, you will need reputation with either raiders or settlers. And if you don't have your reputation maxed out yet, that will be pain. That will take quite a lot of time. After you do it, regardless, each faction you will max out, you'll be able to buy it. If you have your reputation maxed out with foundation, Sunny will have compound bow plan for you. And it costs 1750 caps. That's the lowest price you can get. After that, you have plans for all the modifications to the compound bow. It can be purchased as well at the same vendor. And no, there is no other way to obtain the modifications. And no, do not buy more than one plan because you cannot trade it. You only need to buy one for yourself and learn it. In case you have maxed out reputation with the crater, Airy will sell the plans for you. And those will be the same plans, the same prices. And now let's talk about crafting and modifications. In order to craft compound bow, go into your weapon crafting workbench under machine guns. You will scroll down and you will find compound bow. It does require gunsmith rank 2 and resource wise, do not craft low levels unless you are somehow low level and you can craft it. I don't know how that would happen, but really you only need level 50 and this will cost you quite a lot of material, but nothing special, like almost the same as any other weapon. Surprise, surprise. Now modifications, that's more interesting part. And here you have a side options. You can have no side, but that's not recommended as Compound bow have 200 range without sight, and sight increase the range to 312, what's really good. You have two choices, iron sights and glow sights. Glow sights is superior, giving better accuracy, although, to be absolutely honest, you can choose whichever one you actually like, as there is no significant difference in your gameplay, regardless if you go for iron or glow sights. And one important modification, type of arrows. Surprisingly, you will be always using the same arrows with exception of ultra side arrows. And apart from that, modification by itself will just magically modify the normal arrow into special arrow. Then you still craft normal arrows. Now standard arrows, there is nothing to say. Cryo arrows, surprisingly there is no cryo damage if you choose this option, but it does slow enemies for three seconds. After that, you have poison arrows. And as well, there is basically no extra damage, even though it stays there is poison, but too little to be able to do anything to any enemies. Therefore, all it does, it gives you a green glow. If you hit enemy, he will be glowing green for a little bit. After that, we have flaming arrows and the same situation. Basically, no extra damage, like a standard arrow, but enemies will be set on fire for visual effect, if you like it. And then we have useful mods, explosive arrows. Those are really the best option, assuming you will equip as well, max out Demolition Expert. And if you are using your bow in VATS, Grenadier rank two. It works great with anti-armor bows, bloodied bows, aristocrat bows, all type of bows that increase your damage, all type of legendary effects that increase your damage are great with explosive arrows. And because you'll be a stealth build, Explosions can actually apply follow through legendary effect on group of enemies, what's really useful and can help in some situations a lot. After that, plasma arrows. This type of arrows I do recommend to use if you have something like instigating bow, as conditional damage bonuses like instigating really do not work well with explosive arrows. I tested that and results were terrible, like explosive arrows, not good at all for instigating bow. I was achieving about as much damage as regular bow with explosive arrows, then definitely plasma arrows or ultra sight arrows for 
instigating bow if you have one like that. And here, interesting tweak like Ultra Sight Arrow and Plasma Arrow, in practice, about the same damage. There is no damage difference in my testing with a proper bow build. Therefore, it comes to like whichever arrow you like more. Up to you. And this one, of course, costs you some extra flags and special arrows, but do not produce goop eyes. If you don't like goop eyes, then Ultra Sight Arrow is a pick for you. And one, one other important information, plasma arrows, even though they do add a lot of energy damage, I don't know why, but not affected by grounded mutation, then if you have grounded mutation, you can still use plasma arrows just fine. Now, ammo cost. I don't think you will really craft those arrows, uh, apart maybe from a starter point. They're not too expensive, but the point is, crafting is not necessary. You will get so many arrows from daily orbs. Enemies return some arrows when you kill them with your bow, therefore, you probably do not need any extra ammo, apart from the starter point if you have zero and you're getting your first bow. Ultra sight arrows, you will get, of course, much more arrows, but it will cost you additional stable flux. Then that's the downside, but the same situation, like you craft it once and then you should be able to keep recovering your arrows and farming your arrows in daily op basically for free. Therefore, ammo cost, for me, it's zero regardless what you choose. Quick important info, you cannot use and a bow while in power armor. Now, I will be talking about legendary effects during combat demonstration, but some stats on the bow. It does come with good damage per shot. Whatever you install, it's good damage per shot. For comparison, in regards to regular bow, you will be able to fire regular bow faster, but it will be doing less damage, and that's the main difference. The fire rate, I don't know why there is 100. You cannot fire it so fast. It's absolutely pointless to put 100. It doesn't represent anything. The range is actually correct. It does have a lot of range, full damage up to 300 in-game units. Accuracy is really good when you aim downside. And bow in general is rather light. And now let's do some combat and let's talk about the mechanics of the compound bow. As there is some hidden effect that you do not see, in order to use the compound bow effectively, you will need to pull the arrow fully and then wait like a second, half a second. It's still a time that the arrow is getting full damage. And then when you fire it, it's not exactly straight path. The arrow is going down slightly and there is a little bit of a spread that's not really reflected as much. If you aim with the right button, it's just moving the bow a little bit. And as you can see, this super mutant was able to survive. It's level 100. And now he's dead. Oh, scrap it. He shouldn't survive. I forgot to swap to my archer loadout. Now I'm on the archer loadout. That's the loadout I'm using. And those are the legendary perks I'm using really quickly in here. And now they will actually die in one shot. Just need to keep in mind, you need to fully pull it and then wait a little bit. And now this super mutant, if I can manually hit him, okay, I will not manually hit him. I just vast him. And you can see now they are dying in one shot. And surprisingly, vats is very effective. And here, oh yeah, sometimes delay of the server, but it's very effective. And here what you need to know as well like in case of legendary effects that's the weapon where the effect of less ap cost per shot is really not needed as you shoot it just so slowly there is such a long break between shots that it doesn't benefit you like at all but in the same time look at this accuracy like they can be so far away and you can get such a crazy accuracy with vats for the headshots therefore extra vats hit chance it's really good for the second star, like that's my favorite if you are using VATS. Now, if enemy is really far like this guy and you shoot it aiming down the side, uh, let me show you what happens with arrow. It actually falls down. I almost hit him. It's a little bit too much spread. Okay, let's try again. Ah, yeah, that, that's a downside. Like you need to figure out where the arrow will go exactly. Now I hit him. 
It was not a headshot, it's hard to achieve on such a range, but it's fun to try, like it's fun to aim at them and hope that you aim right as there is slight delay on your arrow, but if you are using it in VATS, the arrow will actually follow the target. Therefore, does it matter? The arrow will not obey any laws of physics. If you target in VATS, it will follow the target. Now, about those legendary effects again, you know something about mechanics already, probably enough. The legendary effects. For the first star, whatever increases damage, like anti-armor, bloodied, instigating, aristocrats, those are good effects for the first star. Of course, there is no quad, as there is no ammo. And for the second star, I really like VATS hit chance. That's like my favorite. And if not VATS hit chance, if you want to manually aim, then damage while aiming will be really awesome for you. I was pretty sure there was one more super mutant, but maybe not. Now the area looting, just a quick break. If you want some arrows back, look at that. Let's just pick up some arrows back. And basically the cost of ammo is close to zero. Then you go to daily op and you farm a lot of ammo. Therefore, second star, that's hit chance or damage while aiming. And finally for the third star, in my opinion, it's not even very important. Whatever you want for the third star, but what I noticed, like surprisingly, because so many effects are just not needed for the bow, I just go for like plus one perception or plus one agility, as those effects at least give me some bonuses. And those are explosive arrows now. Explosive arrows on something like bloodied anti-armor, those are awesome. They're not good. Oh, he detected me, then now I'm missing a little bit of damage. Like, if you get detected, it's a little bit too low damage to kill them, but still good enough damage to tag everything with those explosions if you will be doing events. And fireproof should protect you quite nicely from your own explosions. They're not too powerful, therefore you will be fine blowing it up close, even though the range of explosion is quite high. Any questions after that? Please drop them in the comment section. I hope you will have fun with your compound bow if you decide to make one additional loadout to have some extra sneaky fun. What I didn't said, of course, bow, compound bow, they are perfectly silent weapons, even if you have those explosive arrows. It doesn't change the fact that the weapon is perfectly silent. And now I think I said everything. Therefore, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.